So, what's up everyone? This is Scented Sensei coming at you with five date night fragrances for men that I personally chose for my collection. And today I'm going to be doing a review together with these two ladies. Hi. Lizette <laughs> and Camila. And they are going to score these scents from 1 to 10. And in the end, they're going to come up with the top one that deserves the number one spot. So first we have Zara, Rich Worm Addictive, which is released in 2016. And it is still a classic because people still use it and people still talk about it within the fragrance community. And it has a lot of hype. It is well-deserved because uh, it is very rich, as it says, rich, warm, addictive. It has a smell of like a chocolatey vibe, and it comes off very sweet with the honey breeze and fresh sandalwood in the notes. So we're going to try this one on. Okay. Exciting. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Careful. you can all really smell it. Like. So, what do you guys think? It's kind of sweet. It, yes. It's kind of sweet and uh, sweet and dark, I would say. What do you think? Um, what what do you think you would say to a man who wears this? Would you date him or would you say next? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, not really next. No, not next. I like this one. I. But it's not really a. Wow, fragrance. I don't really know because there is something about it that I like, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I think it's too much because of the sweetness. Yeah, maybe it's a bit too sweet for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I like sweet perfumes, but if um, I'm going maybe on a date or something, mm -hmm. then uh, I probably would uh, like expect something a bit more like um, probably something dark. Yeah, something a bit like, more. Yeah, because this has a bit of darkness in it, but not so much. So um, I would read. I would read what rate is like. Maybe a six. Six? Yeah, because right. it's not that bad. But because of the sweetness, it yeah. drag, drags it down a little bit. So, yeah, yeah a six for me, it would be. <laughs> I, I think it's, it's six or seven for me as well. Maybe I turn up to sweat seven, actually. Seven. Because I, I, I really like it. But um, maybe it's a bit too sweet for me, too. The thing is that it opens up very powerful because it has all the sweet notes like the honey, the yeah. sandalwood, the coconut. <clears throat> You'll feel all those sweet notes coming in right in your face. It's like a punch. Mm -hmm. But it has a dry down. And in the dry down, everything goes a bit more mild. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a perfume. If you would smell this later on. Let's see how it is after the dry down, because the dry down is mm -hmm. different from yeah. what you're hit with in the beginning. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, mm, I would probably say a joint seven so far for this one. Rich Warm Addictive by Zara. Next, we have Prada Loam Intense, which is released in the year of 2017 from the house of Prada. And it has been highly appreciated in the EDT version, but this is the EDP version. It has amber, uh, sweet patchouli, it has geranium, 
The geranium note is the most predominant one because the one, this is the one that smells masculine, but I would say also a bit on the feminine side, but not not in a feminine way as in it would suit a woman. But it's more like a man in touch with his sweeter side, I would say. So a gentleman's perfume. We're going to try this on and see what you think. Oh, here we go. I like the sound. <laughs> Funny story. I actually wore this to the hairdresser, and the uh, the woman that was cutting my hair was like, "Oh my god, oh. what are you wearing?" And I was like, "Yeah, I just picked this up from Singapore. I actually bought it in Singapore in a perfume store." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah I really have to buy this one for my boyfriend." And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah." Compliment getter. <laughs> because yeah. here's the thing. No one in the fragrance community has spoken bad about this perfume. The Prada house is powerful and has received a lot of comments about the EDP version as well as the EDP, but the EDP is more strong. Well, hence the perfume version. But I would highly recommend you going for both depending on what situation you want to be in. So... You shouldn't exclude either the EDT or the EDP. You should really go for both so you have a choice if you want to go for the more powerful side or if you want to go for the more lighter side. If you want to go for the lighter side, the EDT version is more of a everyday fragrance. You can wear it to the office. This is sort of like a date night fragrance, office fragrance. And the uh, EDT version, I mean the EDP is... Mostly date night, I would say, because it has a depth with the sweet notes there, especially with the amber and the predominant note of iris. Iris is a well-known note from Dior. They used it in Dior Homme, the EDP version, and that one is also highly recommended in the fragrance community. So, what do you guys think? Ooh. For me, it was like a big... Compared to the other one, this one was like uh, more of a punch in the face, I would say. Punch in the face. This is like more powerful. Yeah. Uh, I could felt it like straight away. Yeah. Uh, more like eating nighttime. Mm -hmm. uh, having, uh, I feel, I can uh, feel it's perfect for like a date in drink, having some drinks in the evening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like when you're dressed up, it's like, it's very, it, it really happens something when I smell it. Yeah, it's intimate. Yeah? I would say. Yeah, it is, actually. What do you say? I'm thinking about the last hour in the office. Yeah. Like, you're already like mentally preparing yourself for an outdoor yeah. activity, like, yeah, going yeah. for a drink. Bar mm -hmm. and so on, but as you say as well, it's it's like a punch in the face. Yeah, it is. You have to like it. Let it sit in in yeah. at the moment because otherwise it will be too much. Yeah, and it can be like if it hangs in the air too uh, for mm -hmm. too long, it can be yeah like too much. So uh, I don't know about this one, but. Oh, I really like it. Yeah, yeah it's not suited for everyone. Okay, no, so no, because yeah. If, so, if you would score it from one to ten, what would you give it? Um, I'm being a bit careful with, with my tens, but it's a nine for me. It's a nine. It's a nine. You see, yeah. Prada never fails. <laughs> so, what <laughs> is good. your take on it? I would actually say seven or eight, mm. but I'm going to actually put an eight because it's better than the other one. But okay. The first one that we tested, this is mm. a little bit more, yeah. more mature. So, yeah, so far, Prada mm -hmm. has the number one spot because it has the highest grade, so it's eight-ish. Next, we're going to do a review on Dolce Gabbana, the one EDP. This one falls in the more woody, sweet category with notes of grapefruit, Coriander and basil, and mid notes of ginger, cardamom, and orange blossom, and base notes of tobacco, amber, and cedarwood. 
I would say amber, uh, the amber and orange blossom comes through very early. It gives it a sweet, fruity vibe. Um, it is very potent in the opening, I would say. It gives you more of a sweet sandalwood type of vibe, but it's not really sandalwood. It's more of like just a woody vibe, sort of like a wood shop vibe. And it is a versatile fragrance that you can use in everyday situations, but you could also use it in date situations because people have been giving this a lot of attention and it has gotten great ladies' reactions. So we're going to test this one out and see if yeah. it does good. Do we have the... Would you rate it as a gentleman's fragrance, more of like a casual man fragrance, or wh who, who is this guy? Why is he here? Why is he at the table opposite you in the restaurant? Why? Wh what do you think about it? Yeah, uh, I feel like it's a gentleman's uh, fragrance. It's like, um, it's uh, really, like, uh, spontaneously, I feel like it's a strong man. It's it's very it's very powerful, uh, and uh, he makes he makes <laughs> the smell makes me feel like safe when I smell it. It's uh, a man who like knows. Uh, <clears throat> He knows how, what he's doing. Yeah, he knows how to make you feel comfortable. Like yeah. it's uh, for me, it's like <clears throat> it works like for like every occasion. This this fragrance, but it feels like a bit more for me. Like I get the feeling like when you come home to a guy that has made some dinner, uh, has prepared some glasses of wine. I get like that feeling. Like a bit, uh, I feel safe, and in a really good way. And it's powerful. It's uh, really. Yeah, I like it. What about you? I feel the first thing I feel is the ginger. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. And the next one, it reminds me of a man who comes out from the shower, mm. like fresh mm. and like so good. Mm. So I actually I don't want to say anything more about this than I want to <clears throat> grade it a nine. Yeah. Because it's so good. Yeah. It it feels like it leaves me speechless actually. So so a nine for me and that's it. Yeah. If you wanna leave ladies speechless, just use this one and they're just gonna go. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a nine for me too, actually. I gave the Prada one nine and this one is a nine for me too. It's a bit I get two different feelings when I smell it. It's like Prada one, it's a bit more for me, it's a bit more like um, having some cocktails on a bar. It's like a bit like Friday after, like afternoon when you like getting ready to to leave the work and meet up with the girl. Uh, and it's a bit more business feeling. And this one is for me. It's like it's a bit more safe, but still strong. Um, so. It well, feels like it's for all occasions. Yeah, as well. It, actually, I, yeah, I can feel it too. So. so, what would you rate it from one to ten? Nine. And nine for me as well. Nine for us. Nine <laughs> for Dolce Gabbana, the one EDP. Yeah. Next, we have Carolina Herrera CH Men Privé, which is a leather based fragrance for the sophisticated bad boy. It comes out. Uh, it came out early in the 2009, I think, and it has made the list of several fragrances, uh, reviewers, though, um, because, yeah, they just simply liked the new style of fragrances that Carolina Herrera released. 
This one opens up with a strong scent of pomelo, whiskey, grapefruit, uh, and it also has a bit of chocolatey vibe, uh, sort of like you would sit in a leather chair with a piece of chocolate, like an Afri or, yeah, and a glass of Grey Goose whiskey. So let's try this one out. Yeah. <laughs> Use whatever we have. Here we go. And here's one. Yeah. Thank you. The early beginning, I would say you would feel the cardamom mostly and the tonka bean, which gives it like the sweet vibe. And you also have this tangy feeling in your nose with the benzoin that gives you the gasoline type. Hints the bad boy style. So it's not the gasoline from the gas station. It's more of like the gasoline that people tend to like. Mm-hmm. I can feel it when you say the gasoline. It's yeah, like me too. It hits you yeah. pretty hard. It's yeah. like a punch in the face. And the taco bean gives it a little bit of a sweet vibe yeah. together with the cardamom and the lavender. Uh, the frozen lavender. Uh, the sage gives it a little bit of a citrusy vibe with the thyme, red thyme. But I would say this is more of a sweet vibe, but gassy vibe as mm-hmm. well. Yeah. So, opinions. Yeah. Um, for me, it's like this is not, even though it's sweet, it has some sweetness, uh, it... Um, it's not like a bad boy perfume for me. It's a bad man perfume. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad, like, I get, like, the bad, mad, dirty man. He, he's not, like, um, afraid to get, like, his hands dirty. It's, uh, I get that kind of feeling. Uh, and personally, I like it. <laughs> so what would you give it? From I give that? it... Um, Eight. An eight. It's mm-hmm. not like the other ones, uh, the Prada and Dolce Gabbana for me, but it's eight. Yeah. What would you give it? I would say, at first it was a punch in the face. Mm. Then it go- goes over, over to the sweetness. Mm. And then it feels like it kind of fades away. No. It, does, it doesn't yeah. stay there. No. Now it's on the stick, I know. Uh, but I was... Actually, I'm not that impressed by it, so I would say somewhere between two and three. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here yeah. you go. Carolina Herrera. I would say six in average. Yeah. Oh, next, next up, we have Dior Sauvage, released in the year of 2015. It came out with a banger. This one is a grenade. It explodes in your face. It has ambroxan, bergamot, lavender, patchouli, and yeah, the ambroxan and the pepper. It also has pepper. It's going to be the most noticeable uh, notes in the beginning. And it has become a mogul from the house of Dior because everybody seems to wear it. Everybody seems to like it. It is, on that note, I would say it's not really. A 10 for me because it's not unique anymore. Everywhere you go, you're going to smell this one. Uh, Mostly the EDT version. It comes out in the Parfum version as well. But the EDT version is the most original one released in 2015. And um, the uh, Pepper Note is predominant in this one along with the Vetiver. Uh, After the dry down, you're going to feel a little bit of the patchouli and the Sort of like a vanilla type of vibe. So it's going to be like a peppery vanilla type of fragrance in the end. So let's try this one on. And the automizer sprays a lot. So be careful when you you see. Here you go. And wow. It really whets up the test tripper. So test trip. Yeah. It is a... in the face. It's here, but I can really feel it. It is. In the air, yeah. It projects like a beast. 
<laughs> so if you would wear it like from across the balcony, the other neighbor for from the other balcony would definitely smell something. Longevity wise, I would say it lasts about yeah six to seven hours because it's an EDT. It's not really that deep, and because of the uh, citrusy vibe, but it also has the more sweet vibe. So I think on my skin, it definitely lasts about seven hours easily. So if you want longevity and you want good projection where you're going to be noticed in the block, definitely go for Christian Dior's Soap Wash. So what do you rate this one from 1 to 10 and why? Oh, man. This one is a hard one. Actually, I, I love this one. The, it's like it has a bit of everything I think it's like uh, it has like it can feel like the pepper uh, touch like it's uh, um, you can feel the uh, a bit bit like sweetness and it's a bit uh, of the citrus citrus uh, What do you think? What type of man do you see wearing this? Someone in the suit. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. Like an officer or or a lawyer. Definitely. Yeah. That I would say. And it's not for all occasion, this one. This one is like for this the finer diners, like yeah. if you have something very important, or if you like want to, how do you say it? If you're gonna propose to somebody, <laughs> to the lady you're in love with, it okay. has so many areas to be used in. This is why you would smell it almost everywhere in the city so if you're going for something unique this would not be the one for you but if you're going for something safe which everyone loves you should definitely go for the EDT one I think because as you can see they seem to like it and so yeah. what what do you think so far it's very intense yeah it is it is, it it, is. it's because of the ambroxin it hits yeah. your face right away with the pepper pepper is a yeah. very strong note yeah Kind of like offensive almost it's like it slaps you in the face rather than grabbing your face gently but it becomes gentle in time so you have to give fragrances time you can't expect everything to be perfect at once so give your fragrance time to grow on your skin you also have to make sure that you test it on your skin before buying it because uh, perfume becomes different on different types of skin due to the oils and the pH balance and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. So, what would you grade it from 1 to 10? Actually, this is, I think this is my favorite. I think it has everything. It's like, it, the perfume makes me feel like <clears throat> it's a strong, independent man who knows what he's doing and he knows what he wants. It's like, it, it, like it, it's uh it has a bit of everything for me mm -hmm. so it's a 10 for me <laughs> ten. 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 <laughs> the 10 we have <laughs> the 10 um, i don't care if everyone used it because the fragrance is a bit different to, um uh it depends on who's using it and how it's your body reacts to it. So for me, it doesn't matter if everyone uses it. It's like it's a, for me, it's a favorite, definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I have to agree. Actually, this one is really unique. It's really good. It is for maybe not for all the occasions, but no, maybe not. If you want to have a safe card, then go for this one, I would say. But I would not ra rate it 10. I would put a 9 because mm -hmm. it's a little bit too intense for me. It is. Yes. 
And it's understandable because the Ambroxan are used in many notes. And those are notes, I think, made for people who want to be noticed. They want to be the center of attention. And I think that Christian Dior wanted to accomplish this when releasing Dior Sauvage. He wanted to put the man in the center of attention. I know Johnny Depp was the front figure of this mm -hmm. one. He fit the description of Dior Sauvage very yeah. perfectly. So this is definitely Johnny Depp in a bottle. It has the sense of humor. It has the sense of knowing where he's going. Yeah. And just the, yeah, this is like a adventurous type of man on a bottle who yeah. knows where it's going in life. So you could pick this one up at discounters. You could pick it up in your local fragrance store on the internet online using different discount codes. It is on discounts from now and then because it's been on the market for so long. So I would also actually recommend you uh, buy this one if you want the safe part. But if you want to go for something more exotic or try something new, you could go for any one of these because Zara is the more cheaper take on fragrances and these ones are not really that expensive as well. They are niche fragrances except for this one. So, but it's in the lower price class. So I think everyone is going to be able to afford these ones. It ranges from about 60 to $90 ish on the market. So it is affordable. It's not that it's not an Aventus Creed type of price where you're going to kill your wallet or something. You're going to be able to walk out of the store being confident, knowing that you bought something good for a good price. So, until next time, see you.